Hello Internet, we meet again and it's 2016. Kind of makes you worry, really. Busted by singing about the year 3000 and it doesn't really even feel that far away now. Just gonna point that out. And I think everything probably will be underwater by then, I'm just saying. Already digressing. I really wanted to switch my camera on and just speak to you guys. For a multitude of reasons. No topic, no specific anything. Like, no theme here, just a vlog. I haven't really been sleeping very well for like the past four days. Like, I have just been all over the place. If I'm a little bit rambly in this video or I seem a little bit drained and tired, then that's why I am absolutely exhausted. One of the reasons I really just wanted to stick my camera on and speak to you guys is because I feel so overwhelmed with the feedback that I've received on my 2015 video. That video I edited together within 48 hours and that is not a joke. <laughs> that might seem like a very long time actually to some YouTubers but for me to piece together the footage for the 2015 video and edit it together and upload it all within 48 hours was a massive accomplishment for me. The comparison between my 2015 video and my 2014 video was that my 2014 video mainly focused on like the growth of Athena and my pregnancy, my pregnancy vlogs and me becoming a mother, like early Athena development. The 2015 video was originally just going to be a part two. It was originally just going to stem from my 2014 video and just be Athena based. I've gone through an incredibly crazy year because it's been so up and down and when I was importing all the footage of Athena, I came across all of these photos and I came across all of these videos. I couldn't help but not convey the reality of the year that I had had to you guys because I felt as though it would have been deceiving for me to have uploaded a video that just painted this really happy, awesome, like, you know, like another baby collage, basically. I want to compile footage together of my daughter's life for as long as I'm around, like literally for years and years and years and years and years or forever, because I want my daughter to know how loved she is and I want her to know that she's the center of my universe. However, I also want to convey my struggles and be as real with you guys as possible and as honest with you guys as possible. I did not expect to have that, like, oh God, it's like I'm shaking. I did not expect to have the response that I did and to a lot of you guys, like, you might think that's crazy, it's not even got that many views, but the comments... <laughs> I couldn't not turn on my camera because this video has only been up for a couple of days and every day I'm getting more comments on that video and more messages. I've had so many messages. So many people have reached out to me since I put that video up. Referring back to what I was saying when I was compiling the footage together and I was editing the video together, I decided to steer away from just focusing on Athena but also speak about my ups and my downs and also speak about my accomplishments. And I looked through notes on my phone and I looked around my computer and I put myself back into those frames of mind just by looking at all of this like footage I'd compiled and all of these notes I'd written in my phone and I'm constantly writing things down, constantly writing things down in my phone like notes, ideas, lyrics, poetry, just random little lines of just ramble that seemed to make sense to me or that I want to convey at some point. I am full of so much information that it's very difficult for me to convey all of it and for me to kind of depict my year in the way that I did it was very difficult for me to do because I tried to be as open as possible with you guys but I was quite worried about a specific set of photos within my 2015 video because when I decided to make it more about my view of the year and you know watching my daughter grow and develop into a toddler but also touch upon some of the personal circumstances that I've been going through and how I dealt with it and how I focused on art and I threw all of my focus and all of my negative energy into something positive and I constantly tried to do that it was a very difficult year for me a lot of things throughout the year that kind of brought me back to the person that I was the year prior or shall we say even before my operation because referring back to that happening in my life I feel like a lot of things started to just go wrong for me since that point or a lot of bad things happened but I'm going off onto a tangent now there was a few images within that video that I was worried about hugely but I wanted to convey the reality of it and also back up what I was saying. The images that I was worried about, it does skim past it quite quickly because the nature in which I edited the video I wanted it to be like it was in my head from my own perspective. When I close my eyes at night and I think about that year, the images I was 
very nervous about showing in that video were the pictures of the bruises and the cuts all over my legs as well as the last series of images in that segment of the video it shows three paintings on the wall the little paintings like on the canvas with like the text on them you know with the i can't remember what it says but if you pause the video there's these positive quotes on not giving up on life and they were actually images that i had taken when I had been carted off in an ambulance to the sanctuary in Bolton basically due to my mental health and to the fact I was just, I just felt dead inside. I'd reached a low where I just wanted to give up, I really did, but at the same time the only thing that kept me going was Athena and the thought of never seeing that beautiful little smile again or the thought of not getting one of those little wet kisses or hearing a cheeky little trump or burp. Not only did that get me through the year, but there was like a few people as well that helped me a lot throughout the year that were really there for me. I can't thank those people enough and they know who they are. The amount of support that I got on that video reminded me how many people that haven't commented in a while are still watching all of these people that I thought had unsubscribed through boredom. People that had subscribed to me during my pregnancy vlogs and things like that. I really genuinely thought like a lot of those people had unsubscribed and the numbers don't really do it for me but what really touches my heart is the comments that I get and the people that reach out to me. That really does affect me and I tried to reply to as many comments as possible. I felt absolutely overwhelmed by the feedback that I got for that video because I was incredibly nervous about posting it. But like I said, I had barely slept. I still haven't really slept very much because I've been feeling very awake and you know how difficult it is if you're bipolar or know anybody that is or know anybody that suffers with anything similar to me. You'll know that when you're feeling tired, like really tired, but you're so awake because your mind is just like ding or you've just got all of this energy but you feel inside that energetic alive body exhausted, mentally drained, knackered, you just want to sleep like it's just like oh the ring light is kind of blinding me right now so feel loved guys, feel loved. I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm shocked that I had the ability to edit that video, export it and upload it within such a short time frame and then have the response in which I have had and it, it kind of affected me in two ways it kind of affected me in obviously a very emotional way because it made me realize how many of you guys are still watching my videos even though you don't necessarily always comment I felt overwhelmed by the support because I don't really have that many people in my life and it was very touching for me to read through all of those comments and I'm still reading them and I just feel incredibly thankful for each and every one of you guys that have been supporting me and my channel. The other way in which it affected me is it kind of made me feel a little bit bad almost that I've not really been speaking to you guys as much as I should have been. There was one particular comment on the 2015 video. She obviously didn't mean it in a nasty way, she wasn't saying anything like bad, but there was one particular girl who was really lovely, she didn't offend me in any way. I'm not picking on you by the way for mentioning your comment but it's like the comment kind of it spoke about how she kind of wishes that I would open up a little bit more to my viewers and tell you guys a little bit more about what's going on in my life and a little bit more detail. I suppose what I'm trying to say is elaborate on what I'm saying and be more detailed. At first I kind of, I was a bit like, I know but I, I think I, I convey a lot, I say a lot, you know, I think I express myself pretty well and they blah 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 and then I realised that like I used to open up so much more in my videos like I looked back on some of my older videos and I used to open up a lot more than I have been doing for like let's say the past year yeah no, I'd say I got better in the past year but I don't know at some point I feel as though I've lost communication though with you guys like I don't know it's hard to explain because I feel as though my channel is growing so I am interacting with you guys. I'm interacting with like new people each and every day that are like new subscribers or that are new to this channel but it kind of made me feel as though I've been neglecting a lot of you guys that have been here for a while by not keeping in touch like the way that I should have been. And I feel as though I could be a lot more open. I feel as though there is a lot more that I have to say that I haven't said and what I really want to do is find a creative way of expressing that and while my video was exporting during the 48 hour stint of editing it, 
it was ridiculous o'clock in the morning and I couldn't use my laptop because I really need to get a new laptop. Let's call that a new year's resolution. Get a new laptop, Jess. Sort your life out. Needs to be done. You need to buy a new laptop, Jess. So at some point you need to treat yourself to one of those or save up for one. Sort your life out. Get a laptop, Jess. I'm not coming to you guys next year with a new laptop. I did something wrong and you should virtually slap me. Anywho, moving on. Sorry if I'm not staring at you guys so much. I'm not looking. Sorry I'm not looking so much, but my eyes are blinded by the ring light. While my video was exporting, I painted two pictures, well not pictures, I painted two canvases, two square canvases because I couldn't touch my laptop, I couldn't do anything on my laptop and I'm so used to being on my laptop that I'd run out of kind of things that I could do so I just sat there and I was painting and I sort of realised like how much better my technique has gotten in a variety of different ways I can express myself through painting so much better than I used to be able to so I thought to myself why have I not been sharing this more and why have I not been sharing my art as much so many of you guys commented on that video about the waterfall painting and about the really bright colourful pink and purple painting so many of you guys contacted me asking me if I'm selling my art where I'm posting my art and it kind of dawned on me that I've got a Society6 but it's not really got that much on it so I should probably be sharing my artwork a lot more with you guys and my YouTube channel is called Jingle Heart Art not Jingle Heart Fart, Jingle Heart Tart or any of that jibber jabber but it's got art in the title so it's like everything that I kind of do I try to represent in an artistic manner but not like a forced artistic manner this is just me, how I think, how I act how I am everything that I do is always in a very way. I'm very sporadic. What I like to call myself is a very messy, tidy person because I like my organised mess and I suppose my YouTube channel has been, let's say, a mess but now it's more of an organised mess. But what I kind of want it to be is an organised pile of videos as opposed to an organised mess. I'm really happy that last year I focused on redesigning my channel, channel banner and all of that jazz. I now have an intro and an outro. You now get two videos that you can click at the end of my video usually. It's really bizarre. There were so many things I said I wouldn't conform to that I've done now, but one thing I try not to do is clickbait titles. One of the things we have to do as YouTubers is try to kind of get you to click on the video but I've always felt really guilty about that like I like to inform you guys what's inside the video so you don't click it and then be thoroughly disappointed that I didn't kidnap three cats and sell them to a famous king that lives in Jerusalem Jerusalem? I've been rambling a little bit so I'm gonna start posting more of my art on my Instagram account I think that's a good place to start so things that I want to do in 2016 I would like to make more art because I feel as though I definitely expanded and grew as an artist last year which I really needed to do I started getting more musical and playing more piano and playing more guitar started practicing more again so I'd really really like to do more music orientated things because I feel as though that fire kind of started to dim and it's been relit again in a huge way so I'd really like to start expressing myself more with music so if you guys would be interested in me posting like covers or anything like that then let me know those of you that have been here for a while will remember back when I was in a band a few different bands and I would post like my band's music and stuff to my YouTube channel and yada fla di blah di da. Well, I'd like to start like posting covers and just general whatever and then once I've built my confidence up I'd like to show you some of my originals, some of the stuff that I've been working on for years and years and years that is, no one has ever seen because I'm so worried. I'm so so worried about my originals. Like I think every musician really really hammers themselves for the songs that they write. Like everybody's so harsh on themselves but I recently had my love reignited for the piano and I've been learning a variety of different things on it like Radiohead and 90s theme tunes. 90s dance songs. I have a kitar and the kitar has a variety of epic space-like tame impala. That's another thing I've been learning on the kitar. Space sounds. Tame Impala, 90s music. So yeah, I'd like to make more art and I'd like to share that art with you instead of just keeping it to myself and showing you the occasional picture. Maybe even do a painting or something and film myself doing it, but not in like an artsy fartsy way, like the manip manipulation of paint where it's like building and building and building and the editing and everything. It, not like a piece of video art, but a video in which you just see a time lapse of me maybe creating a piece of art. I also plan to upload regularly to my channel like I have been doing. I feel like I've been doing really well, to be honest. I'm kind of shocked 
at how well I've been doing, which means that I'm probably gonna get really shit again at some point. Let's touch wood and hope for the best that I've not just jinxed myself. Definitely, 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 touch wood, wanna do my labour and delivery video because I promised you guys I would film that and Athena is gonna be two by the time you see that, I swear to God, I really need to do my labour and delivery video. I promised Kira when she came to stay with me that I would definitely do that. It's 2016 now, yeah, I'm, I really need to film that video. I need to film that video for Kira and all of you guys. Funny story, by the way, when I was in labour with Athena and I was in the bath, I tried to watch some YouTube videos before I started listening to my playlist, my music playlist in the bath. And one of the videos I watched while I was having ridiculous contractions was Kira Rose's Moon Cup review. A review on a period device. Why am I metaphorically putting it in? I don't know. I don't know why I decided to watch that of all things. I watched that and I remember I watched a haul that Helen did. After that I realised the YouTube videos weren't really helping because they were making me want to video edit which I could not do in the bath while I was moving around like this. I promise you guys that I will get that done this year, if you're still interested in knowing how Athena came to exist that is. By the way she was born to Queens of the Stone Age so that's the ending for you guys. I'd also like to do an updated hair FAQ which I've been promising all of you guys for about how long now? Two years probably, so I should definitely get on that at some point. I definitely like to improve on my video editing, that's something that I am constantly trying to up my game on. Not so I look all fancy, but because I'm a video artist, so that's what inspires me, because I love video art. For example, if any of you guys are into video art, Bill Viola, he is a god. I loved his Nine Inch Nails triptych, FYI. I'd like to talk about more art, talk about more music. That's what I want to do, because they're my two favourite fucking things. A lot of you guys also really like my story time video, so let me know if you guys want me to do any more of those. Let me know topics or random eras in the down bar, perhaps. So far I have a story time from 1998, a story time from when I was about four or five years old, and I also have a story time about hiding Jesus. So let me know which story time you want to see first, 1998, the one about me getting stuck in a grid when I was about four or five years old, or hiding Jesus. They're your options guys, let me know down below. I'd also really really like to read two books I've been meaning to read, um, one which I got last year, which was Russell Brand's book. I was following Russell Brand's YouTube channel all the way through from start to finish and I was gutted when he stopped posting on the truths because I was disappointed. I was singing the theme tune all the time in my head. Why did he have to stop it? Why did you have to stop it, Russell? Why? So I want to read my Russell Brand book this year, and I'd also definitely like to finish reading Anarchy, Evolution, Faith, Science, A Bad Religion in a World Without God. I really, really, really want to finish reading that. Something that I did really well with last year was buying less makeup. I only really bought The Necessities last year, which was really impressive because usually I splurge out on makeup, but last year I didn't at all, mainly because I don't really have the funds to do so because I have to pay for other things like bills and rent and adult life. However, that little bit of extra money that I usually spend on makeup, I did not spend on makeup this year, which I am very proud of myself for doing. So this year, I'm gonna treat myself, and at some flipping point, when I get some schmoola, wait, no, buy a laptop, Jess, buy a laptop. Okay, after you've saved up for your laptop, Jess, then, then, you can treat yourself to about, let's say, £100 worth of makeup. There you go. FYI, by the way, I can't remember the last time I spent £100 on makeup, like literally. For someone who loves makeup, it's been a while since I've bought a lot of it. As you will see, there's been a lot less hauls and reviews on makeup, so I'd like to do more makeupy things as well. Let's fucking throw makeup in there as well. Fucking throwing it all in there, so we want more makeup, more art, more music, more vlogs, more talking, more everything. There you go. Take it all, take it, have some apple and raspberry juice, have this hair serum, have my MAC Fix Plus, have the GHDs, have this clip item here. I don't, what the hell am I? I just figured that I would grab everything on my desk and share it with you because that's what I'm gonna do with my channel now. Let's move the straighteners out of the way. I just completely forgot I had a clip in my hair as well. So I plan on making more effort with myself, with my YouTube channel, with everything, all the things. And I'm gonna put all of the things on this channel and I want you to leave all of your recommendations in the down below. Well, that video escalated quickly. Gone from zero energy to all of the energy to Duracell bunny energy something or other. So let me know what you wanna see this year from me if you want to see any of me. Party outro! Party outro for the new year! We're just dancing. It's a rave. 
to fucking rain, bro.